two years ago, I decluttered and organized my brother's kitchen. I made a video about it and I will link that in the comments below. However, today I am back to check out the kitchen and see how it held up. And so far, it looks pretty good at a glance. Everything is pretty much where I thought that it should go. And looking in this, this is the pantry. You can see it's not overflowing with things. Um, I had it organized by category that has since gone by the wayside. And next, this cupboard really only had a couple things in it. We see that it is still a junk cupboard. Um, this cupboard has a couple misplaced items, but not too bad. And these cupboards really stayed organized. Uh, this is the bulky items and it just needs a little bit of a refresh. A little bit of Tupperware got misplaced in here and lids mismatched. Over here, the utensils. I didn't clean out that front part of the drawer two years ago, so it makes sense that it still isn't cleaned out. Um, here is the lunch stuff and the Tupperware. Okay, so it's good to see that that drawer remained the packaging drawer and this remained the Tupperware, although it is missing lids and there is a cloth in there and some more Tupperware. So good to see that these stayed the same that I organized them as. Up here there was the salad spinner and the burger press and that was it and that stayed the exact same. Looks like they didn't even open the cupboard in two years. And over here is some spices and some coffee. And more spices and cups for the coffee. So that all stayed the way that I had organized it. This turned into a massive junk drawer which was not like that two years ago and that looks like it didn't change at all. And under here, it pretty much remained the same, although he did buy an extra set of pots and pans, I see. Two years ago, I did not try to declutter under the sink, and so it makes sense that that's the same. And over here, our pantry is just, I don't know what's going on over here, actually. So overall, I think they did a really good job of keeping things organized and decluttered. One problem that I did see though was that they are really struggling to keep things clean. So it's time to get busy and clean the kitchen. A tip for cleaning is to put on some good shoes and that gives your brain the signal that it is time to work. I recommend that you put on a YouTube video or a podcast while you are busy cleaning. Choose one about cleaning or decluttering or organizing and this will keep you motivated. Fill a sink full of hot soapy water and clear a space for the dishes that you've washed to sit and dry in. You guys know I hate dish racks but my brother has one and it was filthy so I decided to clean it and attempt to use it. Next you want to get a garbage pail ready to use for the cleaning process. So I actually had to clean the garbage can before I could use the garbage can. And the final thing that I did before I started cleaning was to get a bowl of hot soapy water ready so that I could bring it over to the area that I'm cleaning. Okay, so now I have everything I need to start cleaning and I'm gonna start with the outside of the fridge. I start cleaning by wiping everything down with just water. If that doesn't do the trick, then I add some dish soap. And if that still doesn't do the trick, then I like to use a stiff brush or a more abrasive chemical or enzyme-based cleaner. Just make sure that you test spot first so that you're not damaging anything. The doors of the fridge didn't have anything in them, but they did need to be cleaned. So I removed the parts that I could remove and washed them separately and then wiped down the interior. Next, I took everything out of the fridge that was rotten or expired or empty. There was an awful lot of empty containers in this fridge. So I washed all of the dishes that were in the fridge and then I had to clean the sink from washing the dishes. And here is all the garbage and empty containers that I pulled out of the fridge. Okay, so then I had to clean the garbage can again and change the garbage bag. So here's the fridge all cleaned out 
and now it is time to wash the shelves. They were pretty filthy. I'm not gonna lie, it was really bad. I had to break out the stiff brush. I got it clean and then I decided to open up the freezer. And then I opened the freezer drawer and yep, I was completely overwhelmed. It was bad and so I decided to do what any other person would do and I closed it and I walked away. And I decided to start cleaning things that weren't so overwhelming. So the counter wasn't cluttered really. It was more filthy than anything. So everything that was in this kitchen needed to be scrubbed. Next, I decided to tackle the pantry. It didn't seem too bad at all. I didn't think it would take me a lot of time. However, upon closer inspection, I saw that almost everything in there was an empty box. Okay, I gave it some thought and I decided that I have to tackle this freezer. It took a few attempts, but eventually I got it clean. All right, with that being done, I returned back to the pantry and cleaned the shelves in there. And then I decided to match up the Tupperware with the lids. And this is how many pieces had missing bottoms or tops. And I just threw them out because honestly, there's an abundance of them in this house. Once I had a closer look at the junk drawer, I saw that it was just full of garbage, so I threw all of that out and it was left looking pretty neat and organized. Okay, I was seriously not going to organize under this kitchen sink, but then there was no place for me to put any of the washcloths, so I decided that I had to make a place under the sink. I gave the floor a quick sweep and here is the end result of me cleaning my brother's kitchen. So the lesson that I learned here was that even if I clean and organize and declutter somebody's kitchen for them, if I don't help them to develop new habits and new routines, then they simply can't keep their kitchen clean. Comment below if you'd like to see me make a video on some habits to help you keep your kitchen clean.